And here we're back, and we're going to do a trade um, for Armoured Mewtwo. Yeah. Armoured Mewtwo. We want to do a legendary trade, and I still always forget what I'm doing here. A legendary trade for or, like something. something to use in this current battle league, which I was doing really good, and now I'm doing terrible. But I'm down to 18.99. I was going to get back up to 1900 a day. That was the same as yesterday. I wanted to get the, over 19.50, get the 19.49, and then had a disastrous day. I'm so, pretty sure you wanted to get the like 1900, and you got the 18.99. Yeah, one below. So I think Natalie is just messing with me. It's but, actually fixed. It's actually yeah. Fixed. So the we Tortuga just appeared as my free incense from the antique. And I checked it for the the PvP. So I don't know if it's any good. The Caracosta, I was called the Terracosta the whole time until I seen. And it's a 93.7, so pretty pleased with it. Um I'm trading you a Mewtwo. Uh -huh. Armoured Mewtwo, and there's one name trade there. Now so the IVs on it here. The HP is terrible. The HP is terrible. I've got a better one, so that's oh is that the right one? I named trade. Yeah. I did I click on the right one there? Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. Yeah, it was this one here. So there we go. I'm pretty sure a dynamic punch is a good move for that. Yeah, but um, I when maybe it's, oh maybe it's just my team, but anytime I've been up against it, it hasn't been a threat to me. So do you want to make a special trade? Yes. Fingers crossed, because every time I do one for a Kyogre, it's terrible. I still haven't got a good Kyogre, and one's run out of ones. Yeah. So confirmed. Me too. So we missed the day of our trading, because we went through this before midnight, and a lot of stuff happened, and we didn't get it done before midnight. So it's now half past midnight, so I can play Battle League again. So I'll probably right, okay. do this after. 1710, 1689. 1710, 16, oh right, okay. I praise this. Yeah. So it's terrible there, but we will just go and check the PvP stats and we'll get back to you in a second. So what's going to happen now is, what do you see? Come on, we're lucky friends again. So and we've just done that trade. We've just done that trade, so it'll have to be tomorrow then. Um, maybe, our trade is going to be lucky, so we have to think of a really, really good one to um, like a really, to really trade. Well, we could do a Garatina. We could do. We have 24 hours from now to think about it. Yeah. So we will check the PvP IVs on this right now. Yes. So we're back again. We checked out our Armoured Mewtwo PvP IVs. And... It was terrible. Terrible. 70. Well, they're terrible. You can still use them. They're 70. But, you, you know, if you're up against someone that has a 90 one, you know, then it's not going to be good. I'm just assuming everyone that plays has 90 ones, but I'm not sure they do. You can still use a bad Pick one. But as if you're, if you're just swapping them out in time and playing a good game, or if you have a 70 one and it's super effective against someone that's using a 100 one, then it's still gonna do good. But I wouldn't feel confident about using it unless, at the lowest would be 90. Unless it's a special day move. Like I've used a Venusaur, which is 75, and I've used that Skarmory in the other league, which is 77. The Skarmory just worked out really good. It was the best one I had, and that Sky Attack just went up really easy. So hopefully I'm going to get, can you get a shilly from them? I don't think so. No. But the wee shadow matchup's still good to get. Or so a shadow hit only. We need to tell, um, to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow is a spotlight hour. So me and Owen is having a competition. competition again. And what we're doing is we're seeing who can make the most XP. So tomorrow is what Pokemon? Um, Venipede. It's Venipede. Can't be Chinese, sadly. Ah, uh, but... What's your CP of this? Oh, you're only 647. Could be um, good PvP. Yep, well, we need to check out it as well. So, what is that there? 
or tapping. I seen it with ear things and I thought it was that new thing. Um, what ear things? What's that new one that we caught tonight? A mulga. A mulga. I thought it was a mulga. And my cousin Martin tried to catch it and it ran away from me. I, I didn't know it would run away from him. It, we're around getting ice cream again. No, it ran away on me. Oh, it ran away on you. Sorry. So tomorrow is spotlight hour for Venipede. So they're going to be spawning more frequently in the wild. And we're going to have a competition to see who can make the most, most XP. So we need to take a screenshot before to see our total XP. As close to seven, so one minute to seven. Or just seven, the beginning of the hour. So we take a screenshot and you can see seven in it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The time seven. So then it is evolving. Pokemon, so I will more likely be out a run at the time. So, oh, if it's scheduled to rain, then I'm gonna have problems evolving on the way because it's gonna be raining on the screen. But you can do between two and three evolves a minute. I'm gonna say roughly two by the time you search and stuff. So, I think I've got enough Venipede candy. I'll just check it out now. What do you call it, Venipede? to evolve as I catch. But I will have other ones there. So I have 1,649 and they're 25 each. So- Will it double evolve? I know, but you're only gonna use the first evolve. Cause double evolve, you wanna use 50 and you're gonna have no candies left. So 25, that's four for every 100. Four by 16 is four, there's 40, 60, about 70 there or something, right? evolves so if you can do two a minute you can do about 120 evolves if you're really fast you can do more but 120 evolves you get 500 xp for one evolve double event you get a thousand xp with a lucky egg you get 2000 xp for every evolve yeah 2000 by 120 is 240,000. so you could make maybe a quarter million during this event, if you do it quick enough, uh, which is possible to do. So I remember doing the, um, there was a, a, a double XP event done before and I made 2 million XP in one day. I was just, I had just lucky eggs and just had loads of Pokemon and just evolve, 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 and it was terrible. Because <laughs> it was just sitting for hours, just evolve, evolve, evolve. And it was, but it got me 2 million XP, so it was worth it. But it's a bit like feeding berries in a gym. It's just tedious, boom, boom, boom. but you have to do it to get your XP, and you have to do it to clear your bag space. And also get you Stardust. That's what I mean, Stardust. Yeah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video on who won between me and Owen on the XP grinding for the spotlight hour tomorrow? In the grinder. <laughs> yep, and all the other stuff will need to go to the, the grinder once we're finished. And we will be back tomorrow with another lucky trade. This is our third lucky trade, isn't it? Yeah, I just I just saw it and I looked and I looked down at the trade button and I was just like, what lucky? And yeah. it went off and it was just like, <laughs> so it's gonna be It's going to be a big decision tomorrow of which uh, like Pokemon to do. Caratina and all. So okay. are we going to do something for this league or for the other leagues? Yeah. I really don't know. I don't well, know. Well, we won't really do a Lugia. Because I did get a lucky Garatina and I looked down and it's 98. But it's 98 IV for... Master League? The Master League. But if you want to use it in another league, it's only 64. So I don't know. I think with the luckies, you generally get the IV for the max amount. They'll, they won't give you, when you when you do a lucky trade, they won't give you PVP IVs. They'll give you just the regular IVs. So if it's like that, if it, we need to think, do we need to max out a legendary that maxes out below 2,500? Is there such a thing? Registeel? We already got Registeel, and we've got a really good Registeel. So, is there another one? 
that's what I have to work out, okay? So we have a day to do that, and we will see you guys tomorrow. So if you know anything well, that we should do, let us know in the comments about our lucky trade and who should we trade. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.